Hey YouTube, it's Rocking Scene Panda here, and you might have just watched my other video on just the normal paintbrush cleaners, and you click the description below and below that one to do this one. But if you haven't, I'll put the link to that video in this description if you want to see it. So I'm just going to show you how to make homemade paintbrush cleaners. So we're just gonna go ahead and like make it to where you can see this. There you go. So first of all you wanna put in you wanna have nail polish remover. So you wanna have a cap if it looks like this and you can just use this cap. If you don't, you can just try to find something that looks like that cap or that holds the equivalent amount. I'm going to fill that up. i got to cut my finger and it got in there. And it doesn't matter if you overflow, that means you just got to add extra litter. And I mind it actually. Overflow. Ah, it burns. Yeah, I've cut my finger and got it in. So now you want to add. Ow, if I can get this thing open. Gosh, don't be rude. It won't open. Oh, you're supposed to squeeze it on the sides. Okay. That would have been nice to know. So, you can just add half of a cap full of Listerin. Mouthwash. And then you just want to mix it up with your paintbrush or whatever you want to use. I'm not going to use my paintbrush because it's already very broken down. So I'm just going to use a pencil and mix it all up. Then you want to add one little spritz, like one little spray of whiteboard cleaner. Stir that. So make sure it works well. I made this formula only once before and it worked. You can just, you just want to try it out. You can get a color and just try it out. Yep, it's already coming off the tip. You can do that a little bit. Yeah. See, some makes it stay on there more. Like it kind of hardens it. And you want to use, if you do want to use any and you have a whiteboard, you might want to use the old type. Your old ones, your oldest ones, because it will still be cleaning. But I just tried my old on my whiteboard and just, when I put it on top of even fresh um, marker, it wouldn't come off. So, I, yeah. So that's one formula. Pouring that into my little formula holder. I just call them formulas. I don't know what they're supposed to call, be called, but. So now, this one, all you want to do is add a little bit of soap. Add a little bit of soap. A little bit of Tangle Tamer. Just to get this kind of watered down. Like that. And then some water. Okay, I might just have to open the lid. Yes, yeah, so that tangle tamer with some soap, six soap I used. There will be chunks left. You can just mush those chunks or even in there. That's gonna kill you if you have chunks in there. And it doesn't matter what color yours is, it just depends on the color of your soap and everything, or if you have paint on the bottom of your holder, which I do. And I'll also put a link in this description for my video on 
paint cleaner holders, I guess you could call that, or water holders, or whatever you want to call it. Now this one, all you'll be using is, a, is water and mouthwash. And this one, it just you got to put half and half. So however much you're going to use it all, you want half to be mouthwash and half to be water. And then one spray of Expo and one spray of Tangled Tamer. Tang, 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 I can't. Ugh. I got tongue twisted today. And since I got a little extra of everything, I'm just gonna add four squirts. And actually, the more cleaner you want it to be able, the more squirts you you add. So definitely, I've used this formula. Up, I've used a lot of times, so I don't need to test it. But you can test it to see if you got the right formula. Okay, I think that was one, two, three, okay, one more, yeah, one more, got one more. Now this one, you need mostly water, no, I have five more. So about that much water right there. Once you see right there, it's just the bottom of mine. So I just tell me my laundry's done. I gotta go get that in a sec. But let me uh, let me just finish this one. And this is homemade soap. So you wanna add that soap, and then you wanna add nail polish remover. So first you just want to mush up that soap. There's a certain sequence you want to do. Even if your soap is li really liquidy soap, you want to mush in the place you got it. You want to stir four times around and mush. Stir two times and mush. Until it kind of looks like this. Yes, it's a very chunky formula, but it works really well. So... I'm just going to put that one up. So now, the final formula is all of the formulas that were in this video mixed together. Yeah, that's my mouth. Just me. Trust me, you do not want that to happen. You just shake that up and pour it in. However much you want it to be. I'm going to have about that much. So, that's pretty much my tutorial. Thank you. And I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you use these formulas. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And in your comments, please tell me how this worked for you. I really want to know if it worked bad or well, because it works well with me. But some paintbrushes are different. Why can you find that paintbrush? Like this one. It's different than those fuzzy paintbrushes. Like the one I was using, it has those little bristles. The little rubber bristles. So that one, you don't really, you can just got to put it under water, or some of them are made out of plastic, you've got to rinse it, but not with, you know what I mean, like, maybe different formulas, I might not work with those, I haven't used these on those yet, but, well, thank you for watching this video, if you watched the whole thing, which some people might have got so bored that they left, you know what I can say to you, good luck finding a better video than this. 
Thanks. Bye.